all the content marketing we've seen over the last couple of days and social marketing and so forth, what I'm going to do today is show you how we integrate everything and actually have created a product and a process to do all of, kind of bring it all together, if you will. Um, so, you know, when you say WordPress for marketing, you know, most of us are going to go, duh, yeah, WordPress is for marketing in one form or another. It's either branding or marketing uh, a small business, big businesses, um, all that kind of stuff. But I want to change kind of how you think. And um, I'm going to start a little with our background and, and kind of lead into how we're trying to humanize WordPress. So, um, like Andrew said, we our dealer trend is our company. We are in the, the automotive niche. We do car dealer websites. Um, and one of the big things with car dealers is they want to have SEO. They want to have all the things. They want to market themselves online. Um, we created a, a, a plugin called Car Dealer Press or a site called Car Dealer Press where we actually provide that plugin to dealers to build their own websites and marketing companies. And then what I'm going to share with you today is called My Pages, okay? And how we brought all this content marketing together to actually get them to take action. So wanted to take it, um, we wanted to go beyond social media and, and especially for brick and mortar. You know, one of the things I always I, I, I talk to dealers about all the time um, and just small businesses in general is brick and mortar is not social. You can't have a person talking to a building. It's just, it doesn't work, right? We need people talking to people. And if you look at who's successful online, it's people. They're, they're real people that we can connect with. There are niches that we, we enjoy. So the next step, so essentially we've all seen this happen. Um, we've seen traditional media move into online, right, um, in a lot of ways. And then we've also seen word of mouth turn into social. Word of mouth is still extremely important when you market, but now it, the, the, the promise of social media, of the one too many, is huge. Right? That, that it, all businesses are looking, okay, how do I get one person to talk about me in front of their thousands of people? Right, like the, the, high, the, the news jacking and so forth. We want to get in front of as many people as possible. So what I see is the next step, and we really need this in the car industry, um, and in most industries for that matter, is we want to integrate real re relationships back into it. Right? We need to take the people and again, humanize it a little bit better. Okay? So um, one of the things that when we started on this venture and trying to, to, to bring this all together, we realize, you know, obviously WordPress is a phenomenal problem solver. You know, it's an issue, problem, you know, however you want to do it. It, it's, it can solve things for us. It can create our website. It can do the, um, the baseball schedule for our little league teams. It can do a lot of stuff. WordPress is a really cool tool. So we use WordPress as, to solve this problem, <laughs> right? I mean, in the car industry, this is the problem. And it's not the salespeople themselves. It's the perception that the, of the salespeople. You know, how many of you in the room have either had a bad experience buying a car or know somebody that has, right? It's probably 100%. And, and that perception is, is really bad for the car industry. And it's bad for a lot of industries. It's not, if, if you're not connecting with people, it's, it's, it's just hard to convert. You know, we're, we're afraid when we walk under the lot because, you know, 10 guys are going to come over and, can I help you? Right? And, and, and we, know, we, we know who those are right off the bat. Years ago when I was in the car business, I literally saw somebody come onto a car lot with binoculars, windows up, looking at window stickers as they went through the lot. That's how fearful they were of the car salesman, right? So I've seen that over time. It's, it's crazy, but we, it's just what's going on. So um, we, wanted to, we, we needed to inject the people back, and that's, that's, again, what we're talking about. So what we did is we ventured out to create a, a website for each individual salesperson so that we could connect with them online. So we took the online marketing and we actually connected those, a person with a person, right? So you can actually choose your salesperson before you go in. You could actually communicate with them via uh, forms and text and whatever, what are their other messages we could bring into that? So we had to create a product, right? And we had some, some objectives to create a product. And this has evolved over a couple of years. So this is the process we kind of went through. First of all, we had to create value for the dealers. Somebody had to buy it, right? We had to create a product that somebody would buy because we can't just build it and, and you know, throw them out there. It'd be great to be able to make, do it all for free, but that's just not the way it works. We had to create value. Then we had to make it helpful, helpful for consumers, right? We needed to take that anxiety out of you buying a car as a consumer, right? And connect those dots. We needed to make it easy to use. 
In the car industry, if you don't make it easy to use, it's a very reactive business. We needed to make it so easy that they would do it and we need to motivate them to do it. Right? So these are the things, again, over two years, we've tried things and you know, just this iterative process that we've gone through. So starting with valuable for dealers, there are certain things that are valuable for dealers that we needed to integrate into this whole thing. Number one, SEO, it's huge. Uh, they needed the free organic search to work. Social media is obviously a big deal right now, right? Um, reputation management, and it's interesting because it's that's a big term in the car business right now is reputation management, which I, I very much dislike because it, it implies that they're they're managing a poor reputation as opposed to creating one, right? Which is really what has happened in the car industry. So what we did is we've kind of done gone to reputation creation, right? And you'll see I'm going to get to the process and how we linked all these together in a second. And then obviously mobile marketing is big, and it, none of it matters. If you've seen all the speakers over the last couple of days, everything comes down to how do you get a conversion? How do you get somebody to engage? How do you get somebody to buy? Whatever your conversion is, that's the end. we've got an end result in whatever we do, right? So that's super super important in what we were doing. Um, helpful for consumers. Um, Need I say more? I mean, th this is what we had to overcome. We had to get that anxiety out. We had to keep, as, as car buyers, actually keep, get this out of their head, right? We needed a, them to show up at the dealership excited to buy a car. It should, be a, it should be a fun experience, right? So we wanted to drive that. Easy to use. Um, once again, sales guy, we had to make it easy for this guy, right? It's the, the whole, it's so easy a salesman can use it, right? Um, and then we needed to motivate them. So what we did to motivate them is we actually did some, you know, uh, got into some gamification. I don't know if anybody is familiar with gamification. Foursquare is great um, for, for what gamification is. You get your badges and that kind of thing. We needed to simplify it and gamify it. And we know that there's two things that motivate salespeople, competition and money. So we needed to gamify that somehow and build that into everything we were doing, okay? Um, so, I'm going to kind of, back, kind of switch, switch gears a little bit now and show you the process that we created to, to actually do all of those things. First of all, you know, pictures are super important. Okay, it's, you know, you've seen it over the last couple of days, yesterday in the content. Instagram is huge. Pinterest is huge. Um, we know how important that a picture is because we know that people are 53% more likely to share a picture than anything else. It's easy especially if it's somebody that they know in the picture. So what we did is we started off at the point of sale. We, we, and, and say this is Kim. Kim is our example customer. She just bought a car. Maybe it's the first car she's ever bought on her own, right? She gets her car, she just bought her car, she's excited. The salesman goes over and takes a picture of her. You sit down, grab your keys, I'm gonna take a picture of you. He takes that snapshot, okay? And then what he does is he goes to a web form easy. Remember, we're trying to keep it easy. We don't get them into the back end of WordPress at all. And using Gravity Forms and some other tools, we're able to just create a form that actually says, what's her name? What's her, at, you know, where, she, where does she live? What car did she buy? Um, and then upload the picture. Okay. Once he's done that, he actually, or the salesperson will click submit. And in one click, essentially what we do is we syndicate that out. WordPress is phenomenal for syndicating content. We can use RSS to push it to Facebook, Twitter. We can actually post it to his site. We can post it to the dealer's main site, right? So we're creating content. All these testimonials and any content the salesperson creates actually goes right to that, okay? Um, all with one click. And then the email, we automatically send to the customer. And this is all stuff you can do on different, different levels too. So if you get testimonials for your own company or, or own uh, clients, you can definitely do these kind of things. So what we do is we send an email back out to Kim. Kim gets an email that says, hey, thank you for doing business with us. It was great to spend some time with you. And don't forget to share this particular link, right? And she clicks on the link and guess where it takes her? It takes her to the salesperson's website, right? Of which on that website, guess what we do? We put a whole bunch of share links on it, right? Because we want her to share the experience with her friends. It's the first picture she's got of her in her new car, right? So she's extremely excited about it. She's going to share it. So hopefully she'll go to Facebook. She'll click on the Facebook link and it's a share link. So it literally opens up her page and scrapes the content and puts it in her page, right? So now she just took her experience with 
the business, in this case a car dealership, right? And put it on our Facebook page for all our friends to see. If they click on it, guess what happens? It takes them back to the salesperson website. Okay, and, and, which, and, and this is her friend, so her friend can actually share it as well. And if you're familiar with SEO and, and what's happening with Google um, personalized search history, now that person has actually been on the website. Right? So we're tying all these pieces together. We've got the content, we've got the SEO, we've got the, um, the, the familiarity that happens with having got them to the site in the first place. And then what we do is, again, all this is, I didn't use, um, well, I take that back. We built a couple plugins. Number one, our inventory plugin, which it's, it's niche related, right? So that's one thing that, that um, we've got. And we actually built one other plugin for the gamification. But other than that, I used pretty much everything out of the box as far as plugins. So all this kind of stuff, tying it all together is very easy to do. Um, the pictures are all SEO'd. Okay, based off of the content that was originally put in the form. So nobody even has to think about it. It's all automated. Okay, the, the post gets SEO'd. The page title's created, the, the URL's created, the description's created, and the content is priceless. I'll, I'll share one with you here in a second of, of the kind of content we're getting. The gamification. So what we did is we, again, we, we realized that salespeople have to compete um, or we had to create some sort of competition for them to be um, uh, excited to use this and motivated to use this. So what we did is on the home page of the dealer's main website, we take the top three salespeople based off of their activity over the last 90 days and we push them to the top. And we do this throughout the sites in multiple places. We can do it on the blog, we can do it on their sales representative page, right? We can take the top six, we can take the top 12, whatever it is, we can break it down. But on the home page, we do the top three. And where this is important in the car industry, at least, is a car dealership website. I mean, we've all seen car dealer ads, right? They spend a lot of money on advertising. These car dealer sites get between 5,000 and 20,000 hits a month. For a salesperson to be in front of that kind of exposure, they're excited about it. And they get pumped and they start doing the testimonials and they start working it. So, um, and then, you know, you can actually just click on a salesperson and go right to that site. And on their own site, we've made it more about them, right? And just as a, a side note, um, all of this is done with multi-site. So each salesperson has their own multi-site, which is based off, is a subdomain of the dealer's main site. So if it's dealerabc.com, it's john at, or john.dealerabc.com. Again, SEO, right? It's all part of the same domain. So we're creating all this content within one domain. Um, we've got his profile, his, his actual bio. He can tell a little bit about himself, link out to other things, create a video of um, him playing with his dog, his kids, whatever it is. We want to humanize it as much as possible. Then we also have links to his own Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and other, other content. So you could actually click on it, click on his Facebook link, and see if you've got friends in common. Right, because that's one of the things. That it, it, commonality is huge, right? We want to we want to link with people and, and become, you know, hey, I know Bob. He knows Bob. Maybe I'll call Bob and see what he thinks about him. Should I buy a car from him or not? Right. Um, then all his own reviews are on that. Pictures. And then the next thing we did is we made it all responsive. In the car industry, there's only a handful of vendors right now, believe it or not, that have gone to responsive for their websites. You know, they've got all these proprietary software that does everything. WordPress has made us very agile with this. So we've been able to actually um, mobilize all of this to, uh, in, in a, one shape or form, right? So uh, one of the things we've noticed is consumers are connecting with the, the salespeople on a one-to-one -one basis from their phones more than they're doing it from their desktops. Once you create that connection, I, just looking through the room, you know, over the last couple of days or rooms, the last couple of days, everybody's on their phone, they're tweeting and they're Facebooking and they're doing all that kind of stuff. We're communicating with people with our phones, right? And this is one of the things that does that or helps that. So this is one of our dealerships um, and this is a, that, that's actually using this system. This, uh, and, and it's, it's amazing what's happened. I've been watching analytics on this. It's already ticking up. They're, they're on pace, um, their first full month using this 
program right now, they're on pace to do about 2,400 more visitors than they've done in the past, which that's huge. I mean, that's a 20%, 25% increase in what they've been doing. This guy on the far left here, um, has, he's on pace to sell well over 20 cars this month. Right, because now he's connecting with people, his fr their friends are connecting, and the business is what's benefiting, but we've put the benefit back down on the salespeople as well. Everybody benefits, the consumer, the dealer, the salesperson, the whole thing, okay? Um, this one, this came in yesterday. I, I watch all the reviews as they come in. Uh, you know, they all, all get directed to my phone. I just like to see what's happening, who's being active, who's not, kind of communicate with them as well. I call them up and motivate them a little bit myself as well. But this one I thought was priceless, right? You can't create this kind of stuff. You know, a vehicle review is great. Safety for my grandson was awesome. But look at the salesperson review. He's my son. He takes care of me like, he takes care of his mother like a good son should. Wouldn't you buy from this guy? <laughs> I mean, come on, I mean, this kind of, you can't make this stuff up. And in, in the, the, you know, they're doing it on a tablet, um, a tablet. So we see misspellings and things like that, but I think that's great. It's real, right? And that's one of the things when you take a, a brick and mortar business and you, you try and make it real, you got to put the people in, right? And the, cons the, pe the people are the consumers, they're the salespeople, they're all these pieces, right? So you drop, you, you bring them all together. So that's, that's essentially um, one of the reviews, right? And that's, that's the presentation. You know what I'll do? I think I've got a couple minutes.